match. So we've got Debraham versus Martin in the 1v1 tournament from the start of the year. I haven't got quite all the VODs, so I'm just sort of going to go through selectively and do one or two from each matchup that I do have. So, looks like we've got a Zeus mirror to start out with. Much more aggressive house placement there from Ma, but Debraham has this scout ready to try and harass the Vils potentially. So Duran, I'm going to finish a couple more houses a little bit quicker than his opponent, but he's going to lose the scout a little bit faster as well. So both our players will be going to the classical age, just chilling for the time being. Not a lot going on other than just gathering a little bit of faith, a little bit of favour, sorry, faith. I'm trying to get some more houses if they can. So Mars now actually got slightly more houses, but not really a difference in our openings here. Pretty passive one from our two Greek players, but now we're going to start working towards that armory, as well as trying to possibly throw down some production here and some towers. So if I'm having to back his villager off from the tower. But this Odysseus is out. So this is his opponents. So Ma spending a little bit of wood, which is inconsequential, but a little bit of favour, which isn't so infinite and tiny, on these uh, centaurs to try and deny Debraham from getting some early centaurs. Lightning bolt being used as well. So going straight to Heroic Age, but Ma going to go for one barracks. Debraham going for three. Getting a few less towers on the front side because he wants to try and save his villagers, losing another one, unfortunately for him. So Ma doing well with the harass so far. Going to be a bit down in terms of the overall unit production for a little bit, but he's also going to have a couple more villagers up his sleeve at the moment. Has used the lightning bolt power though. To do Bram. Going to go up to four barracks here. Ma on. Just the second one, finishing up just now, but he is up two towers over his opponent. Debram also having to get more houses because he's also behind on them. But he's actually going to get a marker down in this corner because he wants to get his mythic age as well. So now Ma is pretty much even in terms of the barracks count. Both our players will be looking at getting their upgrades for their infantry because these hoplites, as tanky as they are and as good against buildings and cavalry as they are, they are going to need some upgrades to really be able to tank everything going on. So Mars actually a little bit slow on the upgrades, I think. Or Debram. Just about finished his, he's just getting copper weapons now, but I think he's already got the rest in queue. Already. Tamar, slightly sloppy with the armory upgrades. But otherwise, things are looking great for him because he's got all the aggression. The Hydra's looking at chipping away at Debram's houses. If he can take these houses out. Ooh, there we go. Bolt power used by Debram. So Odysseus, not quite as versatile against all the structures. And Debram has all his myth units still garrison for the time being. Just sending another Pegasus just to scout out how far away his opponent's fortress is. Debraham's slightly quicker at the moment than Mars. So Debraham cease firing and hoping to try and really stack up the military behind us. So we've got a minute of passive play. We'll probably fast forward through this a little bit. So Brahms Mythic kicking in. 
and Ma has to find a way to get his, and he's finished his fortress, but it's showing as unfin- oh no, he hasn't finished it, sorry. Really needs to finish that fortress though. I don't know why this village is all garrisoned there. We really could have had that down here. Doesn't look like the replay's out of sync or anything. A bit of a mistake there from Ma. Uh, under the pressure in the tournament. Probably should have had that fortress finished. That's right now. He does have to face Lightning Storm and Debram already has that uh, catapult the Petrobolos down. Or Mars own Petrobolos. Well he's actually gonna get Helepolis instead. They're actually stronger one to one. They just lose in a ranged engage, but I mean they get out range, but I'm try and mark his Prost infantry so his workers can actually get on the fortress. Bearing in mind, Ma still has his own lightning storm, bronze, and ceasefire to use. Then they got bronze and lightning storm for Debram at this point, but he seems to be working towards his opponent's towers. Ma, we count of half past piss. Can we chip away these houses? But Debram. There's lots of high pass but stacked up in the towers and lots of hoplites as well that he's just unleashing now. He wants to try and take out some houses as well. So Ma slightly down in terms of the overall pop. So a bit of a big blow. Even though he's managed to pick off... I mean, even though, sorry, Debram's de deleted the Petrobolos now. Mars is late, and ooh, the lightning storm. Good time here, picking off a lot of those hoplites now. I mean, lots of those hypaspis now. To the Bram. That's a big unit advantage for the time being. He's up by about 30 population at the moment. But now Ma returning the favor. Lightning storm out. Both players left with only. Bronze in the tank, plus Mars Ceasefire, which he may opt to use as soon as this finishes. He does have that Medusa in play as well, so you can look at freezing a couple of units. Oh, Bronze being used by Debram, but here we go. Mark and block a minute worth of the 90 second long Bronze with his Ceasefire. Wonderful stuff. To speed things up a little bit here. Just cut to the chase. And Ma, again, is leaving a fortress not quite finished off while he takes houses to stay from getting housed. So he's, again, delaying his siege timing. While Tabram, while he is only on the one fortress, does still have a slight siege advantage, I think. He's got Petrobolos only just going down now. But again, does still have double Helapolis in favour of his opponents. And he is going to be able to take out the armoury. Deny... What a good upgrade in the Iron Mail upgrade. If that gets denied here at 80, 90%, that's a big blow. Yeah, we'll get denied at 93%. So as soon as this mate, this gold, uh, bronze armor buff finishes for Ma, he's actually, I think, well behind. So he's got to try and make this work over the next minute. He still has a Helepolis over Debram at the moment. But he's going to try and make great use of them in the fight. But I don't know if he's got enough here. He's definitely down on barracks. He's only got the one barracks. And Gibran still has the three. And Bellerophon not able to focus off down the siege units. He will fall. So Ma, even with the bronze, all of his bronze units being picked off ultimately. So Debram able to keep the push going from here and it's a huge Helepolis stack from both of our players. Now villagers in support too. 
don't know if Mars gonna have anything left. That 30 pop and the Brahma a solid 90, all out to 100 now. And that fortress slowly being worked away at the tower falling for Ma as well. I think Debrum has done it here and GG, well played.